Good morning, everyone. I hope that you are doing well. What a joy it is to open God's Word again today and just to see what the Lord has in store for us and what a powerful reminder we have today coming out of Philippians chapter 3. Now, as oftentimes, we don't get to read the full chapter, but I highly encourage you to go back later, read through all of Philippians chapter 3. It is amazing. But I wanted just to keep it short and sweet here today. We're just going to be here in a few verses. We're going to be in Philippians uh, chapter 3 verses 8 through 11. So welcome everyone as you're hopping in here. Oh, Christina, big hugs to you. Much love. Great to have you here and everyone else that's here now and later on. Welcome, welcome. Big hugs. What a joy to see you. All right. So today's theme is just really all about the theme that Jesus is everything and knowing Jesus is everything. And so we're going to get a window into Paul's perspective here, starting in Philippians 3 verse 8 it says this yes everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord and just you know stopping there those are some big words it says here that everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value and so just remembering that Jesus he is more worthy he is more awesome he is more beautiful more valuable than anything that we could ever experience here on earth and so just knowing that that if nothing can be compared to the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord for his sake I have discarded everything else counting it all as garbage so that I could gain Christ and become one with him. I no longer count on my own righteousness through obeying the law. Rather, I became righteous through my faith in Christ. For God's way of making us right with himself depends on faith. And we know that in Ephesians chapter 2, it talks about how we are saved by grace through faith, not of works so that anyone can boast. So it's not about the good things that we do or how many times to church we go. It's not about that. It's about fully trusting in Jesus, putting our faith in him as our Lord and Savior and Redeemer. So now as we hop back in here, Philippians 3 verse 10. I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. I want to suffer with him, sharing in his death, so that one way or another, I will experience the resurrection from the dead. And so just remembering that knowing Jesus is everything. And that's the first thing here. And just remembering that it is an infinite value of infinite worth to get to know Jesus. And then also remembering that our purpose here on earth is to know him more and more. And so whether that means suffering eventually, which it may, or persecution, just knowing that knowing Jesus is worth it, that that trial, that tribulation is worth it. You know, that's not the end of the road. Being with Jesus in heaven, you know, that's that's the end. That's where we're headed. And so remembering that whatever it is that we face here on earth, it's worth it. And so just remembering that today and that I love what it says here, um, let's see here, that remember this by faith, you know, that that's what it's all about, faith in Jesus. So that was here in the New Living Translation, but I wanted to share a few words here from you, or with you, from the Amplified Bible. And so that's a Bible that my grandpa, he gifted me, this one, this little book guy, but this little Bible right here, it's the Amplified Bible Classic Version. So it's, it's really good. It's, it's a nice one to study with. It is a little bit more wordy. So <laughs> to read large passages, Passages, passages out loud can be a little bit uh, of a mouthful, but sometimes it really helps us to understand the passage better because it explains the verse within the verse. So I love what it says here when Paul was saying that he counted everything as loss compared to the possession of the priceless privilege of knowing Christ Jesus. So just thinking about that as we go throughout today, is like, wow, I have the possession of the priceless privilege of knowing Jesus, my Lord. And so just thinking about that today in that beautiful language. And then there's a similar passage in Colossians 2, verses 2 and 3, that's a similar wording, which is cool. And also, I love what it says also, that we want to be progressively becoming more deeply and intimately acquainted with Jesus. So just remembering that, you know, it's, it's a journey, that we want to become more and more intimately acquainted with Jesus, our Savior, the lover of our soul, our Redeemer, the one who gave his life for us. We get to know him personally. And then I love what it says here in verse 10. Now this is Philippians 2. 
3, verse 10 in the Amplified Bible. And I love what Paul said. It says, for my determined purpose is that I may know him. And so just remember, remembering that that is our purpose, is to know Jesus. So just thinking about that today as we go throughout this day, feel free to share any other scriptures that come to your mind about that. And then one other verse uh, or a couple verses that I'd love to share now back in the New Living Translation in Psalm 73, starting in verse 24. You guide me with your counsel, leading me to a glorious destiny. Whom have I in heaven but you? I desire you more than anything on earth. And I think that really couples well with what we were just reading in Philippians chapter 3, that we're considering all else as worthless compared to knowing Jesus and that he is the one that we desire most of all. So I love what it says then. Verse 26, my health may fail and my spirit may grow weak, but God remains the strength of my heart. He is mine forever. Those who desert him will perish for you destroy those who abandon you. But as for me, how good it is to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my shelter or my refuge, and I will tell everyone about the wonderful things that you do. Isn't that beautiful? So I just so appreciate each of you joining in today. God bless you all. What a joy to have you here. And then I would love to pray for you as well. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We praise you, God. You are worthy of all honor and glory and praise. Lord, I just pray that you would help us to really reflect on the scripture from today. We just thank you, Holy Spirit, for sharing that with us today. And we just thank you, Jesus, that you are so valuable. We we praise you for the priceless privilege of knowing you personally. And we just pray, God, that we would desire you more and more with each day. Father, I pray that we would hunger and thirst for you. I pray that we would take time in your word or even just reflecting on verses we've read before. Lord, I just pray that we would just seek after you, Father, that we would yearn for more of you. And we just thank you that that is our purpose, is to know you personally, intimately, and accurately. So Lord, wherever we are in our journey with you, I just pray that we would lift up our eyes to you and we would just uh, ask for more of you, that we would just desire to, to know you better. So we just thank you, God, that that is a prayer that you long to answer. We just thank you, Lord, that you call us to delight ourselves in you and that when we do that, that you give us the desires of our heart. So Lord, I just pray that you would be the desire of our heart. Lord, we just thank you so much for all that you are. We just thank you for showing us treasures in your word, hiding in that in our heart, Lord, and help us also to share it with others. Lord, we just thank you for this day. We invite you into it. We thank you for your word that reminded us today that, Lord, when we are weak, we thank you, God, that you are the strength of our heart. You are our portion forever. So we thank you for strength for today. We thank you for your daily bread. We thank you for provision today. We thank you for moving mountains today. We thank you, Father, for your grace that's sufficient today. Lord, we just thank you, God, for your goodness. We thank you that you never leave us. You never forsake us. God, that you are faithful and true. Lord, we just thank you for doing the miraculous today. We thank you, God, for divine appointments today. We pray for souls to be saved today. Lord, all the things that we could ask for, God, we just give that all to you. And Lord, we just also pray for your protection, for your anointing, for your power. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that through our faith in Jesus, that you reside in us and we just surrender. We turn over the reins to you, Holy Spirit. Help us to be patient and kind and loving to exemplify the fruit of the Spirit. Help us to walk by the Spirit, that we would be prompted by you, that we would obey you, that we would not gratify the lust of the flesh or that we would act impulsively, Lord, out of selfish behaviors. But we just pray that we would yield to you, Holy Spirit. And we just thank you for clothing us with your helmet of salvation your shield of faith, your sword of the spirit, your breastplate of righteousness, your belt of truth, and your gospel of peace. Lord, we love you, and we just entrust all of these things into your hands and just pray that your kingdom come, your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We love you, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all so much for joining with us today. God bless you, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.